Hello and welcome to week five of Composition 2, Spring Late 2020. So I hope you're doing well. Um, we're moving really quickly, so um, I'm pretty sure this is week five. I hope it's week five, um, but that's what I have listed. Uh, what we're doing is we are working on our research narratives. I'm going to disappear here and just point to the screen. So for this week, um, we have really just two major things we're going to do. We're going to be reading Michael Moss's The Extraordinary Science of Addicted Junk Food. This is a kind of research narrative. It's a very interesting paper as well, but it uses a lot of research. It is long, uh, so you need to work on reading, uh, practice reading some longer works. So do you need to take a break in the middle? Think about that. So we'll have that. You'll uh, need to read that and have a summary due by Saturday night and a discussion board. In addition, we are working on our research narrative because our goal is to have a draft of this paper due or turned in by Sunday. That's not a lot of time, and I realize that. And I have provided feedback on your discussion board about topics, and so that will be helpful. Uh, the main thing I can tell you is don't make this paper too difficult for yourself. You're just telling a story. You're just providing information. Those are the two goals of this paper. So to help you out, I have a couple of things. First, I have a discussion board. It's uh, topic 15, uh, building a timeline for your research. So these are the things I want you to look at. Um, this will be due by Wednesday, and you're welcome to contact me with questions. What might be helpful is I posted two links down here at the bottom, organizing your sources and then an explanation of the research narrative. Um, these are going to be very helpful for you. Look at this. This is going to talk about some things that are very important to include in your draft, such as signal phrases and internal citations. So in this video, I talk about an actual example that's submitted so you can kind of follow along, but you can look at the example and I talk about what works and what doesn't work. At the same time, you should also be looking at those examples. Um, so please have, um, that topic check-in done, but also uh, we are working on formatting a template. So it's MLA formatting. I'm asking you to use uh, Word or whatever you have to create kind of a sample paper that's going to include a work cited with two of your sources. So I can start looking at what you are doing and provide you some feedback to make sure your paper is formatted correctly because that's one of the most important things that we are looking at. So I have some links up here to help you out with that. I know there's just a lot of junk up here. Let me move this down so it's a little bit easier to see. All right, so that's really where we are. This is where you'll submit your draft for the research narrative. Um, not a lot going on, but uh, at least in the week of the class, but you're gonna be doing a lot of work uh, using a library to research. So I hope you figured that out. If you haven't, please contact me as soon as you can so I can help you get access to the library and walk you through things. We can maybe just do it over the phone and that'll be easy. So um, really, we're just working independently. If you have questions, please feel free to contact me. But that's really it. Um, I think it's easy, but I've done this before. Um, it's a lot of work, just a lot of sitting down time. Um, going through the databases and recording information. So these videos down at the bottom, organizing sources will help you. And looking at this, just trying to figure out what it is I actually want. Uh, so get started on that. Hopefully you'll feel good by Wednesday when you turn in your template and your discussion uh, 15 topic check-in too. So otherwise, have a great week and feel free to contact me with any questions. Take care.